Welcome back. Dan Ogriski along with Mike Scavara getting set for another high school football season. Mike, good to have you back. It's great to be talking football with you again, Dan. Well, we'll begin our coverage with the Wrights Panthers, a team on the west side. And last year lost three football games during the regular season. But it's a team right now that's going to begin the year at least without a quarterback controversy. Drew Johnson will be the starting quarterback this year. He had six touchdown passes through the air last year. He scored five times on the ground. And, of course, offensively, when you talk about Wrights, Mike, you talk about Keandre Vaughn. Well, he's certainly going to have a good uh, year. He had 1,600-plus yards offense last year. And Kurt Nelligan, a big uh, 6'5", 235 lineman, will anchor that offensive line. They've got a transfer coming in from Henderson County. Rashad, Rashad Whitlock is uh, the young man. He had 1,300 yards last year. He scored six touchdowns. But when you talk about rights, you talk about defensively, and you have to begin with Mason Schnarr, their outstanding linebacker. Well, he's their top returning uh, tackler from a year ago. He, along with Ashton Carter and Andy Whippleberg, that Coach uh, Lewis is very high on, uh, should lead that defense. All right, it's going to be a very, very exciting season for the Wrights Panthers. Again, they begin the season with two non-conference games before their conference opener comes up August 31st against the Wrights Panthers. That's our look at the Wrights Panthers for 2012. You know, our team goals every year are to win the city, win the SIAC, win the Westside Nut Club, and be playing our best football heading into the playoffs. Coming into the season, I uh, hope to better our record from last year, and then... Uh, I'm hoping that we can get a little bit more chemistry as a team and probably work together and hopefully get a state championship. My personal goals are becoming bigger, faster, stronger, and uh, just getting anything I can do to get better because you, you can always get better every uh, practice. All my coaches uh, help me. They all got advice for me. Everybody has advice for each other, and we just try to pick each other up and do the best we can. Uh, every coach, it's a little. It's kind of a love, but they're tough. They're tough on us. Well, you know, obviously our kids grow up with the modern day kids. Our staff knows the modern day staff well. We have a lot of respect for Coach Gable and their staff. Year in and year out, they're going to have a great program. Their kids play hard. They're fundamentally sound. They're well coached. Our kids, you know, as I said, grow up around those kids, and it's a big game for our kids. That Westside Nut Club is a, a huge trophy, and and it's bragging rights for a year here on the west side. Oh, it means everything to us. Not, not just because it's modern day, but I mean, you go in and it's your senior year, so you know half the guys because you live by them and stuff like that, and it's bragging rights and everything on until when you're 40 or 50, whatever. So you have that for the rest of your life. It's, it's, a, it's a big rivalry, so it's the uh, most intense game that I've ever played. And uh, we just go out, it's the best game, everybody goes hard, and uh, we look forward to it every year. Hopefully they're going to see some wins, some hard hitting. So our kids understand that every time we step on the field, you know, we have to bring it. Don't forget to pick up the print edition of Football Fever at any of these fine locations.